What is up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Ngayong araw, syempre, meron na naman tayong panibagong lesson. So, series na po ito ng Operations on Integers. Yung nakaraan, tinuruan ko kayo ng addition of integers using the number line and using the rules in addition of integers. Kung nais yung balikan yun, click the link below sa description para masundan nyo yung mga lessons ko. So, ngayon naman, ang lesson natin ay subtraction of integers. Meron na rin tayong dalawang method. Una, gagamit tayo ng number line. Pangalawa naman is, we will use the rules in subtracting integers. So, ano bang inaantay natin? Pumunta na tayo sa ating lesson. So now, let us proceed with our lesson. Subtraction of integers. First, gagamit muna tayo ng number line. So, mamaya na yung rule niya. So, una is, we have to take note of these two. So, pag positive, to the left tayo pupunta. At kapag naman negative, sa right naman tayo pupunta. Pag put kayo malilito sa subtraction of integers at saka sa addition of integers, magkaiba po sila ng rule. So, dito po, pag subtraction of integers, positive, to the left, at kapag negative, to the right. Yan. Magkabalik tara na kasi si subtraction at si addition. So, mamaya, sa rule natin, makikita nyo kung bakit tayo positive to the left at negative to the right. Okay? And also, take note, hindi na ako gumamit dito ng positive symbol for mga positive integers kasi understood na na kahit walang sign, automatic positive yun. And less zero siya. So, yung zero kasi wala talaga siyang sign. Let's have number one. Positive four minus positive five. So, let's locate positive four. And then, positive five. So, positive means to the left. Lima daw po. So, one, two, three, four, and then five. We stopped at negative one. So, the answer is negative one. Positive four minus positive five is negative one. Let's proceed sa number 2. Positive 8 minus positive 4. Let's locate positive 8. And then sabi dyan, positive means to the left. Apat daw. So, 1, 2, 3, and then 4. So, the answer is positive 4. Because truly, 8 minus 4 is 4. Okay, let's have number 3. Negative 5 minus negative 3. So, let's locate negative 5. Ito po yun. And then, negative. Negative means to the right. Tatong beses. So, 1, 2, and then 3. We stopped at negative 2. So, the answer is negative 2. Let's have number 4. Negative 7 minus negative 1. So, where's negative 7? Locate natin. Ayan. Negative means to the right. Isang beses. So, the answer will be negative 6. So, negative 7 minus negative 1 is negative 6. Let's have number 5. Negative 2 minus negative 6. So, let's locate negative 2. Ito po siya. And then, negative means to the right, anim na beses. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We stopped at positive 4. So, the answer is positive 4. Let's have examples number 6 up to 10. So, number 6 will be neg positive 4 minus negative 5. So, let's locate positive 4 first. And then, negative 5, negative means to the right ng limang beses. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, and then 5. We stop at positive 9. So, the answer will be positive 9. Let's have number 7. Negative 2 minus 4. So, let's locate negative 2. And then, sabi dyan, positive 4. So, positive means to the left ng apat daw na beses, sabi dyan. So, 1, 2, 3, and then 4. We stopped at negative 6. So, the answer will be negative 6. Let's have number 8. 5 minus negative 3. So, this is positive 5. And then, negative 3, negative means to the right ng tatlong beses daw po. So, 1, 2, 3. We stopped at positive 8, so the answer will be positive 8. Let's have number 9, negative 7 minus 1. So this is negative 7. And then 1, 
positive means to the left isang beses. So, 1. We stop at negative 8. So, the answer will be negative 8. Let's have number 10. 2 minus negative 6. So, positive 2 nandito. And then, negative 6, negative means to the right. Anim na beses. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then 6. We stop at positive 8. The answer will be positive 8. Okay, so dito na tayo sa rules in subtracting integers. Without using the number line is mag-subtract na tayo ng integers. So first, alalahanin natin yung kanina. So pag positive means to the left and negative means to the right. So first, kilalanin ulit natin yung mga part ng subtraction sentence. So for yan yung minuend. Isabihin yan yung ating binabawasan. And then, this one, yun nasa kanan naman, ang tawag naman dyan ay subtrahend. At syempre, yung sagot, ang tawag dyan ay difference. Okay, so na-identify na natin yung minuend, yung binabawasan. Yung subtrahend, yung ibinabawas natin. And then, yung sagot ay difference. So, kanina, ano ba ang binabago natin? Yung to the left, tsaka to the right. Diba yung subtrahend lang? Yung subtrahend lang yung binabago natin. Or minumove natin. Hindi kasama yung minuend. So, ang rules natin ngayon in subtracting integers is first, So, imbis na yung nakasanayan natin na kapag positive pupunta sa right, pumunta siya sa left. Yung nakasanayan naman natin negative na pupunta sa left, pumunta naman sa right. So, nagbabago siya ng direction or nagbabago siya ng sign. So, therefore, Ang rule in subtracting integers, first is change the sign. Ano nga ba yung change natin ng sign? Yung subtrahend lang, ha? So, we'll change the sign of the subtrahend first, and then, di ba, parang parehas na lang na sa addition yung ginagawa natin. So, ilalagay natin. So, then, proceed to addition. Ibig sabihin, kung ano ginagawa natin sa addition, ganun rin yung gagawin natin. But first, we have to change the sign. Then, after changing the sign, then we will proceed to addition. So, now, let's proceed. Yung rules po natin in subtract integers, ulitin natin, is we change the sign first of the subtrahend. Yung subtrahend po yung nasa kanan. Ayan po, yung mga nasa kanan. And then, proceed to addition. So, first, copyin ko muna. So, una, Sabi dyan, magpapalit daw ng sign si subtrahend. So, from positive, magiging negative 5. So, lalagyan ko ng parenthesis kasi negative siya eh, Para nakahiwalay. And then, si subtraction, magiging addition daw. So, magiging plus na to. So, sabi sa addition, pag magkaiba ng sign, positive to, ito negative, magma-minus daw tayo. So, magiging... So, mas pataas si 5. So, 5 minus 4 is 1. Pero dahil ang sign ni 5 na mas mataas ang number is negative. So, the answer is negative. So, this will be negative 1. So, 4 plus negative 5 is negative 1. Let's have the second one. 6 minus positive 9. So, ganun ulit. Copy natin si 6. And then, si positive 9 magiging negative 9, and then yung subtraction, magiging addition. 6 plus negative 9, so mag ulit ng signs. Subtraction ulit yan. Ang mas mataas na absolute value ay yung negative 9. So, 9 minus 6 is 3. Mas mataas na absolute value si negative 9. Ano ang sign niya? Negative. So, negative to. Kaya ang sagot ay negative 3. Let's have number 3. 8 minus negative 3. So, copy na ulit natin si positive 8. And then, yung negative 3 magiging positive 3. And then, yung subtraction magiging addition. 8 plus positive 3, parehas ng sign. So, 8 plus 3 is 11. So, positive 11 yon. So, nasa inyo kung gusto nyo lagay ng positive sign or hindi na. So, kung hindi ka na maglalagay, okay lang din. So, we'll just leave it like that. 
Let's proceed with number 4, negative 5 minus negative 3. So, copy and edit natin si negative 5. And then, negative 3 will be positive. Kasi babaguhin na natin yung sign. Yan, nilalagyan ko lang ng positive dito ha, para nakita nyo na nagbabago sila ng sign. And then, subtraction will be addition. So, 5 plus negative 3. Sorry, negative 5 plus positive 3. Magkaiba ng sign. So, subtraction. Ang mas malaki ang value ng absolute value is yung negative 5. So, minus natin siya 5. Bawasan ng 3. So, that will be 2. And then, ang mas mataas sa kanilang absolute value, syempre, ay negative 5. So, negative ang kakopyay nating sign. So, the answer is negative 2. Let's have number 5. Negative 7 minus negative 4. So, kopyain ulit natin muna yung minuen, yung negative 7. And then, yung negative 4 na subtrahin magiging positive. And then, yung subtraction magiging addition. So, what will be the answer? Negative 7 plus 4 or plus positive 4, magkaiba ng sign. So, subtraction ang gagawin natin. So, 7 minus 4 is 3. And then, mas mataas ang absolute value ni negative 7. So, sa kanya yung kukopyain natin, negative. So, the answer is negative 3. Let's have another set of examples. Subtract the following integers. Number 6, 5 minus negative 2. So, ganun pa rin po. Kopyain si minuend. And then, yung negative 2 magiging positive 2. And then, yung subtraction magiging addition. So, 5 plus positive 2 ay parehas ng sign. So, ibig sabihin, add lang natin yan, 7. And then, ang sign nila parehas ay positive. So, positive 7 pa rin yan. So, I'll just leave it like that. Positive 7. Let's have number 7. Negative 5 minus positive 4. So, that will be equal to Kopya natin si minuen, negative 5. And then, si positive 4 magiging negative 4. And then, yung subtraction magiging addition. So, look. Parehas sila ng sign. So, ibig sabihin ni add natin sila. Add lang natin yung kanilang absolute value. So, 5 plus 4 is 9. And then, same sila ng sign which is negative. So, kopya natin yun negative 9. And then, number 8, 17 or positive 17 minus negative 10. So, that will be positive 17. Si negative 10 magiging positive 10. And then, yung subtraction magiging addition. 17 plus 10 is 27. And then, parehas naman silang sign positive. So, positive din to. Positive 27. Let's have number 9, 15 minus negative 3. So, that will be, copy natin ulit yung 15. And then, yung negative 3 magiging positive 3. And then, yung subtraction magiging addition. So, if positive 15 plus positive 3, same po sila ng sign. So, add lang po natin sila. 15 plus 3 is 18. Since pare silang positive, positive din po ito. And then, last, number 10, 27 minus negative 4. So, that will be si negative 27, ay sorry, si 27, kopyain lang natin. And then, si negative 4 will be positive 4. And then, yung subtraction magiging addition. So, look, same sila ng sign. So, add lang natin sila. So, 27 plus 4 is 31. And pare sila yung positive. So, this is also positive. That is all for today guys. Salamat po sa panonood ng aking video lesson. So please support me by subscribing to my channel and also clicking the notification bell below para ma-notify kayo sa lahat ng mga video lessons ko. So shout out sa lahat po ng mga subscribers and sa lahat po ng mga nanonood and sa mga estudyante ko. Goodbye everybody. God bless and stay safe.